The five steps in the nursing process are assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate. We use the mnemonic ADPIE, A-D-P-I-E, to help us remember that. Now, the reason it's so essential you remember these steps in sequence, A-D-P-I-E, is that as a nurse, you should never do something until you've done the step before it. First you assess, then you diagnose, then you plan, then you implement, and then you evaluate. It's really simple, ADPIE, A-D-P-I-E. Assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate. The next time you take an NCLEX exam or an NCLEX question or a test in school or you see a patient on the floor, I want you to remember these steps. Here I go again, assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate, ADPI. You're never gonna forget it. Let's talk really briefly about each step in the process. First is A for assess. When we assess, we're, what we're doing is we're gathering all the information we have available. We're looking at everything, we're taking vitals, we're using objective and subjective data to gather everything we can to really see what's going on in the situation. Then let's talk about D, diagnose. Once we have all of our information from assessment, we can then diagnose. We can then say, okay, this is what's really happening. This is what's going on. This is all the information I have. And this is what's happening with this situation, with this patient, with this question, whatever. Then P for plan. Once we have gathered all of our information and assessment, once we've made a diagnosis in D, now we're gonna plan. That's the P in ADPI. So what's all the information? We're then making our plan. What are we going to do next? Now that we know what's happening, now that we know we have all this information that we've gathered, what are we going to do about it? That's the plan part. We make the nursing care plan. We plan how we're going to answer the question or we plan what we're going to do next. Then we move on to I. I is for implement. We've made our plan. That's great. But without implementation, it's basically worthless. With I, the I in ADPI, we're implementing our plan. We have our plan. We've written it down. We know what we're going to do. Now we actually do it. That's implementation. That's implementing the plan that we've created. Now the E in ADPI, last one. The E stands for evaluate. Having a plan, implementing that plan, assessing, gathering all of our information, making a diagnosis, all that's good. But did our plan or did what we do work or do we need to adjust it? So the E stands for evaluate. We've implemented our plan. Now we're seeing how our patient responded to that. We're seeing, was this the right answer? Did this work? Are we getting the outcome we expected? So let's evaluate. That's what E stands for. The next time you take a nursing exam, I want you to work through this. You never jump to evaluate. You never jump to plan. You never jump to implement until you've gone through assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate. You always work in that order. What can happen to a lot of students is they want to diagnose or they want to implement before they've either assessed or planned. So for example, you might get a question about a patient who shows up shaky. You walk into the room and the patient's shaking. Okay, so what do we do first? You know, the first thing you need to do is assess. One thing you can do to assess that is to get a blood sugar value. Don't just jump automatically to thinking that this patient is having a seizure or this patient uh, is with low blood sugar. Let's get that blood sugar first. That's part of our assessment. Once we have that blood sugar, you get it, it's 32, now you have a diagnosis. Okay, this is hypoglycemia. This patient is sit shaking, they have hypoglycemia. Now what's our plan? Our plan is to give them a little bit of glucose. Now we give them that glucose, now we see what happened. Okay, we're evaluating. Let's evaluate, the shaking is gone after 15 minutes, we're good, that's the way it works. Never, ever, ever jump to your diagnosis or your implementation until you've either assessed or planned. And that's where I think most students make mistakes is they automatically jump to diagnosis when they have just one piece of information. Now guys, over at nursing.com, we have a cheat sheet full of nursing mnemonics. I wanna make sure that you get that. It's a free PDF download that you can use to keep some of these things straight. To keep some of these mnemonics in your head to help you memorize and retain information that you learn. To get this cheat sheet, head over to nursing.com slash memory. That's nursing.com slash memory. All right, you guys, I want you to go out and be your best selves today. Happy nursing.